This video will cover the topic solving a 2 by 2 system of linear equations that is inconsistent or consistent dependent. A 2 by 2 system of linear equations has three possible solutions. No solution, one solution, or infinitely many solutions. What do those three solutions look like? We know that two lines in a plane will lie in one of three positions. They will be parallel as the example shows in the first graph. They will intersect in one point only as the example shows in the second graph, or they will coincide or be the same line as the example shows in the third graph. If two lines are parallel, then there is no solution. If two lines intersect in one point only, then there is exactly one solution, or in other words, a unique solution. If two lines are the same line or they coincide, then there are infinitely many solutions. I know from other topics that systems of equations can be solved using different methods like elimination or substitution. We can use any method for these problems, right? Sure, depending on the problem, one method may be easier and use less arithmetic than another. It is up to you to determine which method you feel would best fit the problem. Let's look at an example. Two systems of equations are given below. For each system, choose the best description of its solution. If applicable, give the solution. 2x plus y equals negative 3. Negative 2x minus y equals negative 3. Can you solve the system of equations? Sure. I think the elimination method will be a quick way to solve this system of equations. The x and y terms both have the same coefficient with differing signs. So, when we add the two equations, the x and y terms will equal 0. 2x plus negative 2x equals 0. y plus negative y equals 0. And negative 3 plus negative 3 is equal to negative 6. So, we get 0 equals negative 6. That's correct. Since 0 is not equal to negative 6, the system has no solution. If you were to graph the two lines, you would see that they are parallel. So you know that the answer to this question is, the system has no solution. Let's practice another example. Two systems of equations are given below. For each system, choose the best description of its solution. If applicable, give the solution. x plus 3y equals negative 5, and x equals negative 3y minus 5. Can you solve this system of equations? I will use the substitution method to solve this example. Since the second equation is already solved for x, I will substitute negative 3y minus 5 in for the x in the first equation. Combining like terms on the left-hand side of the equation, negative 3y plus 3y is equal to 0. So the equation simplifies to negative 5 equals negative 5. Great job! Since negative 5 is equal to negative 5, this system has infinitely many solutions. If you were to graph the two lines, you would see that both equations graph as the same line. You can also see that result by solving both equations for y. Let's look at how we would do that. First, write x plus 3y equals negative 5. Then subtract x from both sides and write 3y equals negative x minus 5. Then divide both sides of the equation by 3 and write y equals negative 1 third x minus 5 thirds. Next, we are going to solve the other equation for y. Write x equals negative 3y minus 5. Add 3y to both sides and write x plus 3y equals negative 5. Then subtract x from both sides and write 3y equals negative x minus 5. Then divide both sides of the equation by 3 and write y equals negative one-third x minus five-thirds. You can see that the two equations in the original problem can both be solved for y equals negative one-third x minus five-thirds. Both are the same line, so you know that the answer to the question is the system has infinitely many solutions and y equals negative one-third x minus five-thirds. Let's do one last example. Two systems of equations are given below. 
For each system, choose the best description of its solution. If applicable, give the solution. 2x plus 5y equals 9 and 3x minus 5y equals 1. For this system, we can add the two equations together to eliminate the terms containing y. 2x plus 3x equals 5x, and 5y plus negative 5y is equal to 0, and 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. Therefore, we can write 5x equals 10. We can divide both sides of the equation by 5 and write x equals 10 divided by 5, which simplifies to 2. We know x equals 2, so now we can substitute in 2 for x in either equation. I will substitute it into the first equation. 2 times 2 is 4. We can subtract 4 from both sides of the equation and write 5y equals 5. Lastly, we divide both sides of the equation by 5 and write y equals 1. Now we know that the answer to this question is the system has a unique solution and it is 2, 1.